side. Many questioned why he was out of the side in the first place for the semi-finals. Not a bad economy rate. Good numbers generally. Taking the place of Ronsford Beaton. As uh, we get going. Excellent delivery of LBW first ball. Paul wins. Back in the side. Error of judgment from Evan Lewis. No hesitation from the umpire. Brilliant start for the Jaguars. The perfect delivery from Paul Vince. Coming back sharply. Lewis being covered the back foot. Little friend. Good ball in a perfect start for any final. Isn't he happy? Well, we've seen some errors of judgment before. And look how much he's fired up. Another failure for Evan Lewis. Semi-final and the final. He goes for a dunk. Done for one. Lots of rain around then on Friday, but look at this setting. Beautiful conditions as Bravo strides out to the middle. Exactly 3,500 runs to his name in Liste Cricket. We want to add a few more to give uh, the Trinidad and Tobago Red Force uh, a decent start there already. Oh, we get down, Philip. Yes, we get down. Trinidad and Tobago Red Force. Obviously, today the problem is supporting the Red Force. cannot exclude Guyanese. They have their support as well. You can rest assured there will be decent Guyana support here. I think this was the final many people were hoping for. The Red Force against the Jaguars. Who knows, maybe some would have flown across from Georgetown and elsewhere for the final. Certainly getting those deliveries to jag in sharply to the left-handers. Extra bounce and pace this time. And the first run for the Red Force is a leg by. So we give up Evan Lewis. Paul Bin certainly fired up here. No warm up deliveries. On the money. Fantastic. Missed the semi final, but come back in the final with a bang. Trying to work out what Evan Lewis was doing there. Well, for one, he, in his preparation, he didn't prepare to hit the ball. But there was no bat at all involved. The ball just crashed straight into his pad, so his bat was obviously nowhere near the ball. that will be contributing to the excellent weather we have for this final. There's a nice strong breeze pushing out the flags, stretching them out. The golden arrowhead of uh, Guyana. And look at those conditions. Lots of blue sky. We haven't seen that too often in the early stages of this tournament. That's up in the hills of Paramin, inside the northern range. Good start, obviously, for the Jaguars, and Paul wins. He's really decided that he's going to make a statement. He's already gotten the wicket, but he's making everyone play. Yes, and the thing about the train and Tobago Red Force is that their first three batsmen are left-handers. So he's going to make the job even easier for Paul wins. But fans getting back to today, today's a picture-perfect day for a cricket final. Fantastic weather. Concerned with the early setback in the Trinidad Tobago camp. Bowling with two slips, as we've seen so often in uh, this uh, competition. 
condition invariably with the opening bowler you've got the two slips you've got three on the off two on the on in the inner ring you've got your third man and long leg it's a good set field by captain Christopher Barwell obviously he's asking his fast ball to get the ball in the business area looking for results and they've already taken that one wicket First over completed, one for one. 